This is Jim Bob McLean. This here's Clay. And we're the Whiskey Trackers. That's right. Now, what we got here is we got us another box. This is from uh, Cheaper Than Dirt. Yep. Uh, who sent this one here? Uh, Willie sent this one. Willie, Willie's back. Old faithful Willie. Well, no, Will, Tony's the first one. Tony, yeah, Tony must be on hiatus or we something. We don't know what the hell he did with Tony, but thank you, Willie. Yeah, you know well, Tony might have booted. Nah, I'm not going to get into booting. Well, but, Willie, you did bang up the box a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Could have taken a little more time, but you want to open this up, guys? Oh, no, no, that's your knife. My knife, I don't... I think I set my knife out for cleaning or something. I don't know. Oh, man. So what we got here? A man without a knife is kind of like a woman without a spatula. You know what I'm saying? Well, you think you're funny, don't you? Well, I'm just saying. I ain't too damn funny, Jim Bob. Let's oh, there you go. You open her up. Got uh, some paper here. We love that paper. Got us a uh, thing here. What's this say here? Um, cheaper and dirt. Uh, oh, this is the invoice thingy. Um, Order not all here. There may be another package coming from from. Well, let's see what's in here. Let's see what we got here. Oh, oh man. man. Look at that son of a bitch right there. Look at that. What is that thing? Right there's a Viscera 3-in-1 field dressing tool. Could be a Viscera. Well, might be Viscera. We're not sure. Viscera. Vis, vis something. And guess what? Oh, we got... Two of these some bitches. There's two of them in there. That's right. Well, what's the second one for? For well, me? Well, no, the second one's not for you, Jim Bob. You know who the second one's for? Who? You. You viewers out there. That's right. We're going to review this here knife. We're going to give this one to some lucky winner. That's right. So, you might have thought the contests were over. Guess what? They're not. That's right. So, it's a pretty nice knife here. That's interesting. Look, you can turn that thing 360 degrees right there. That's pretty crazy. Hey, look on the back. You got it comes with its own sheath right there. Well, you know what we need, Jim Bob? We need a knife to open the knife. We do. Well, That's gotta, quite a conundrum I right there, isn't it? <laughs> well, here, well, this one here is yeah. going to go to some lucky winner. So, if you out there, if you win this and you start out with no knife, this is your first knife. You're going to have to find yourself some type of knife to, to maybe open cut, the knife. cut that open. That's right. Go ahead, Jim Bob. That is a conundrum. You know I ain't good at this. Okay, give me it. <laughs> I, ain't, I don't want you to cut your damn self. Don't worry, don't worry. Woo! This is okay? a fine knife right here. Real avid right here, it says. Real avid. I'm a real avid hunter. I'm a real avid fisherman. I'm a real avid drinker. So this knife's perfect for me. I might try to win this myself. You can't win it, Jim Bob. It says, uh, the strength of a fixed blade with the versatility of a multi-blade knife. So what they're doing is they're combining a fixed blade. Because a lot of these knives, this, will, this won't be one piece right here. This will be separate. So this is a fixed knife right here, which makes it stronger. Yep. More durable. And all that stuff. Oh, a little carrying case there. This thing pivots and locks into either blade or gut hook saw position. Also, modified ball point. Or I'm sorry. Modified. I can't speak today. Jesus. You can pull things. Uh, modified drop point, 440 stainless steel blade. <laughs> Saw cuts through ribs and pelvic bones. Right here, this is for hunting. This is for Ooh. getting up your deer, doing some serial killer things in your bathtub. That's some bitch is sharp, I'll tell you that. You got an oversized gut hook right here that cuts right through the thickest hide. So right here, this right here is a hunting knife right here. This is a gutting knife. Yeah, Just in time yeah. for hunting season. That's what this is for. So you, you out sharp. there can win yourself a gutting knife right in time for hunting season. Is that sharp? That thing is sharp as hell. Right there, you cut you cut the deer open. You That's stick right. that thing in, that little hook right there. You rip them right down there. That's it. Just Give all that guts that come spilling out. You save yourself from cutting the, uh, you know, them sacks in there that smell like shit when you cut them. That's the ass. Yes, you don't want to cut that. Well, I tell you what, this thing's pretty nice. I'm gonna put that tip back, that tip guard back on there, though. Just so we don't cut ourselves. Yeah. Oh, it's a real nice product. I mean, it's got a little button right here on the side. You push that button. As soon as you push that button, it just it's that's real smooth nice. Smooth as can be. Tell them the benefits of that being one piece right there, rather than being. Seconds. Well, one nice thing is being that the blade is actually one full piece of steel there, with the uh, pivot in the middle right here. Yep. It's, uh, it's going to be pretty strong for you. I mean, unless you break this, but I don't think that's going to happen. Is that a polymer that that handle's made out of? Oh, it might be. Might be a polymer right there. One thing I am going to warn you about, though, is if you have it open like this, 
if you swing it, you know, there's there's a potential right there to cut your damn self. Cut your fingers off. And it goes back where it's, you know, this Might way saw right your here, fingers off. Right here, them teeth are pretty sharp on there. Like shark teeth. You're probably not supposed to be flipping it around like I am. 180 degrees, but you can. If you're if you want to you you want to be good with knives, Clint's real good with knives. So once you step up to that next level, then you can start doing them knife tricks. Oh, well, there's paper in here, Jimbo. There is. That might have some more details on it. Why am I doing all the reading now? Well, in here we got us a uh, fits in there pretty nice. Might got us a coupon right here. Oh, this is showing other great products that uh, these people make. That'll come with Ooh. it. You can buy more things. <clears throat> then right here we got your instruction manual, I imagine. There's a knife back in, Bob. Oh, thank you. Here, give me that. <clears throat> Let's say here. <clears throat> this Gorilla User Guide Warranty. Goddamn thing got a warranty. Well, congratulations. You own the world's most versatile field dressing knife. This Gorilla has two positions and three functions for field dressing your big game. One side of the viscera blade is a modified drop point skinning knife. Unlock the blade and swing the oversized gut hook and bone saw into position for a seamless cleaning experience. Developed by hunters at Real Avid. Viscarilla is, a, is made for serious hunters. That's right. Huh. Carrot's got some care and maintenance tips right here. Some safety tips. We're not going to go over the safety tips. Yeah. You can read them yourself when you get it. Yeah. Well, let's go real quick. All I right. mean, it's just real short. It is your responsibility to exercise caution while using the viscera. I kind of went over that earlier. Yep. Always direct points, edges, and cutting strokes away from yourself and others. Yep. That's be that careful, way. Jim Bob. Not this I, way. I see you at the corner of my eye. No, I'm careful. just playing around. Let's see. Where was I here? Uh, make sure the knife blade is locked into either position before attempting to use it. That's that button right there that unlocked uh, it. It took me a half hour to figure that Got out. It? All right. <clears throat> use extreme care to avoid accidental unlocking of the blade while in use. Push it. Because then, like I did earlier, you cut your damn finger off. Yep. Let's see here. Sharpening. Uh, we recommend sharpening the blade with a carbine, a ceramic sharpener. Um, it doesn't come with a sharpener, so you're going to have to buy yourself one of them. But you should have one. Oh, nice a nice thing, knife like this. Nice thing is it's got a pretty thick blade on it, so it yep. should hold an edge for quite a while. Ooh. Make sure the following sharpener manufacturer's instructions for... Oh, wait, make sure you follow. Yeah. The sharpener manufacturer's instructions for proper procedure. You don't want to mess up your blade. No, not it's at all. It's a real nice blade. If you do not feel comfortable sharpening your own knife blade, please take it to a local professional. It's true, but you might as well do it yourself because you <clears> charge you <throat> an arm and a leg and don't be a pussy. That's right. Well, I went over the uh, steps on how to open it and close it yep. and all that good stuff. It's got a limited three-year warranty. Three years on a knife That's pretty knife. good. That's pretty good. It'd no. take me three years to mess something up. Man, I'm not going to go over warranty stuff, but it's got a three-year limited warranty. Now, this grip, now, it seems like a plastic polymer maybe mix, but I'm saying this part right here is a, uh, I feel that. Uh, that Take it, your hand off. I ain't touching your hand. It might not, it might not be slippy in the rain is what I'm saying. No, it should. It's got a nice little grip to it. Yeah, it's got a little edge into it. I mean, it ain't no, uh, you're not going to be gripping this like a reptile climbing up a wall, but, you know. How, how much was this thing? How much does this thing re retail for? Um, let's see, I got the packaging thing here. Now I've ordered a whole bunch of stuff, so <clears throat> this one here just happened to be uh, wow, sixteen dollars and sixty-one cents. Sixteen dollars. You can you can uh, gut your deer. You can saw it. All your buddies will be using their old buck knives that they just sharpen up. You'll pull this some bitch out. Be hooking that some bitch. The life of the down. party, right? You'll there. be the life of the party. I could have swore I spent more than that for this. Yeah, see that? It's cheaper <clears throat> than what he thought it was, because that's cheaper than dirt, buddy. When you're ordering that much stuff, I mean... Now, I just want to say, huh. we only got one to give away. It's okay. got a belt loop on the back. We only got one to give away. This one's Clint's. But um, we just want to let you know that if you don't win this, you can always go on to CheaperThanDirt.com, get yourself one for under $17. That's right. Well, let's uh, put this thing through some tests and see how it does. That's right. Put that back in there, Jimbo. All right. You gotta hurt your damn self. Well, let's get out there and test this something. Let's do it. Come on, Come Jimbo. On. All right, here we are. We're out here. We're gonna see what this little bad boy here can do. Yep. You wanna hold that? Yep. Here you are. I'll let you hold that little tip thing yep. right there. Thanks. Now the blade is pretty sharp. Let's uh, take this root right here. And just skim a little bit off of it. 
Just shave it a little bit down here. This ain't a root, this is a vine. This is a vine. This vine right here represents as he's shaving it down, maybe shaving down the skin to get a nice little spot to cut into. Don't seem too bad. That's pretty nice. That'd be a good whittling knife. The top of this is flat, so you can use your hand here to put a little. You put some leverage on there, some down pressure. Just remember, safety first. Safety first. Cut down, don't cut towards you. So it seems we got a pretty decent edge there. Let's uh, swoop this some bitch around and see what that end does. Yep, that's a saw end. It's right here. Oh, oh that's going through there quick. Oh, yeah, it is. Now, this vine's representing the deer bone as you're cutting that bone. That's right. It's that's going right through there like butter. Shaking a lot, that's the problem. It's definitely cut. Oh, dang. Ain't getting no water out of that one. Nope. So, that there seems to cut pretty good. That's a nice knife right there. Clean it off a little, get a little of that stuff out of there. Huh. Yep. Pretty impressive. That is pretty impressive. Yeah, let's try this little uh, thing right here. See if it's... You don't cut yourself. Oh. You could possibly hook your uh, personal areas with that hook coming down like that, so you want to be careful. Yeah, you always cut away from yourself and others. That's right. But it seems like it just cuts through different. Oh, things. he's using the hook right there to do that. That hook's taking pieces off about that thick. Shit. That worked pretty good. That did. Well, I would say that. That's probably a success. Yep, that's a nice knife. Nice. Sheath back here. Here's your little. Yeah, let's put this little tip guard back on. You don't want to stab yourself. No, you don't. Especially your personal areas. Hell no. If I can figure out how to put this thing back there, there we go. Put that back here in the sheath. Hell, that thing spoke for itself. You know why we put that in there? For safety. Safety first. That's right. All right. All right, we're back. Yep. Now, this thing here performed pretty well out there. Yeah, it did. I was kind of surprised. Uh, looking at the blade right here, i get the damn tip off here. There's not a single mark on that blade. And it still feels pretty damn sharp. It's like a Japanese sword maker made that. Maybe. And uh, even after throwing it at the tree, there's no, uh, no nicks there. The tip is still nice and pristine. Let's try, I bet you can cut right down a buck's stomach with that still. Oh, yeah. Right there, just hold that. Over yep. right up. Hit the button there. Let's take a look at the other side. Now you just saw it through a vine that represents a deer bone. That's right. With that. And then uh, once you get that open there. Don't, oh, that's it's, still that's it's sharp. sharp that's well. sharp. Now something I want to add here that I didn't realize until I was trying to clean it and get some of these uh, some of that tree bark out of there is there does happen to be two sets of teeth there and they're offset. Like shark teeth. Kind of like shark teeth. Um, it's kind of like uh, kind of like a normal saw blade, but you have two blades right beside each other. And one's offset a little bit, so every time you pull, you got lots of ripping surface there. Yep. Now the uh, this part right here, the half circle thing, it um, doesn't doesn't have any chips taken out of it either. It's still still razor sharp in there. That's right. So you can still got that deer, or you can uh, open a bottle up with that. No, Jim Bob. Well, you could. It looks like it could though. No, you can't. I mean, you would just cut the bottle, right? No. Well, there you go. You can cut the bottle and yep, out of the... Well, whatever. Jim Bob's not the brightest when it comes to this kind of stuff. Well, I'm just trying to say it's got many uses other than sawing deer bounce. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, it's for cutting only. You wouldn't want to do anything but cut with that. Yeah, cut open my beer bottles. Anyways, let's move on. Yeah, good idea. You don't understand what I'm saying. So, all in all thing held up pretty good out there like I said there's there ain't no marks on it it looks nice handle's still good it's still still yep. in place it's not loose so, we put it through some breakers I think it did pretty good Louie what do you think <laughs> Louie loves it I catch you Louie I catch you Louie don't like that yeah I'm not really gonna cut Louie well, Louie's a lover not a fighter that's Jim Bob's new friend I'm yeah gonna cut him. he's cool so right there I all think right. it did pretty good. So the, now the most important part of the, all this, you want to tell them? I'll tell you that 
as I said in the beginning, this one's mine. You ain't getting mine. But that one right there is yours. That's right. And we're going to give that thing away. Now, how are you going to get this thing, you might ask? Pretty simple. Being that we do these things, they take two weeks. So for two weeks, you have a chance to sign up for it. That's right. Step number one, got to be a subscriber to the channel. That's true. So make sure you get on there and you hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. That's true. Step number two, down in the comments on this video, you have to type in Thirsty Thursday Thanksgiving Giveaway. That's right. We'll display that right along the bottom here. Put that, if you have a hashtag on the front of that, you don't have to. Yeah, Just it's up to you. write them words. But you enter those words, and that gets you in the draw to win this. Now, how, how long is two weeks from now? Two weeks from now, it's Thanksgiving Day. That happens to lay on Thanksgiving. So that's why it's Thirsty Thursday Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving Giveaway. giveaway. Yep. It's that simple. And then you can do that, and then we'll put them in a raffle, just like we always do. The old Will Fortune thing. Will Fortune thing. We'll all go crazy. We'll have a celebration. That's and right. Somebody's going to win this, get shipped to their house. So make sure you're watching, because it ends at 3 o'clock p.m. on Thanksgiving Thursday. That's true. Well, will these people get 2016. 2016. Will these people get a sticker? Yeah, we'll throw one of these stickers right here in We'll throw you. in a sticker. How about one of these stickers? Yeah, let's throw in one of them stickers. We'll throw too. one of these stickers. Not the for orange one. Yeah, you'll get it. Yeah, because those are all out. Yeah. That special one. We have to get some more stickers ordered, but we'll throw in a, a whiskey drinker sticker for you. You're getting almost everything, anything you want. Hey, let's throw in a new a CD. Let's throw in a CD. We're not sure which one we're going to give you yet, but we'll throw in a CD too. Put that on your headphones when you're out there hunting. You shoot your deer, pull out that knife, buck, skin them up. And then put them in your truck that has the whiskey drinker sticker on it and the cheaper than dirt. There you go. You, it doesn't get much better than that. It's true. Now, uh, anybody that doesn't win this contest, make sure you go to cheaperthandirt.com. You buy yourself one of these for, what is it, 16 something? Six, just under 17 bucks. Under 17 bucks you can get yourself That's one right. of these. Real nice product. I order a bunch of stuff from there myself, so. That's true. Yeah. You, know, you can't go wrong with it. I mean, it's pretty pretty damn nice that is pretty nice so get out there subscribe to the channel thirsty thursday thanksgiving giveaway that's right put that in the comments down below and in two weeks hell we might be shipping you a knife and we might love you a little bit more oh we're definitely gonna love you a little bit more but you might be getting a free knife on top of that love that's true and some stickers and oh, a cd and Maybe a piece of jimbo's beard hair i don't know maybe maybe you, something creepy you like never that. know what we might throw in so until then, good luck and we'll see you then. We'll see you on Thanksgiving Day. Right.